we came up uh, with the idea of uh, trying to have a conference uh, for uh, women in macro so that we could exchange ideas about economics, but also have an occasion to network. And then one thing we realized is that the whole dynamics was very different than the type of conference we were used to. So it was a little bit of an experiment on trying to think of are there better ways of communicating in economics. So having a strong network that you know is enriching your your professional experience is something that is important that makes you more likely to be successful, and that's what we're trying to provide, you know, for each other as well as for the new generation. You may also wonder why in macro, uh, and precisely because of these issues, you need to have a network in order to, you know, improve on, be, be more productive come up with new ideas, and we all work in macroeconomics. There's a, a very small percentage of women in macroeconomics. It's one of the fields in which there's more underrepresentation. It's about, I think, less than 20% of macroeconomists are female. Uh, so then uh, it seems that this is one of the niches where the, the needs are. There is a paper uh, by two colleagues of mine, Chan Taishé and Eric Kars, together with Chad Johnson and Pete Klino, that shows uh, that the decrease uh, in discrimination uh, um, in, for women and other minorities in the workplace uh, has been uh, um, important for the increase in efficiency uh, in the US economy in the last decades. I think this is a very insightful paper and is a speaks well to this issue, why do we need to create an environment that is more uh, supportive uh, to women and why we need to have more women in the profession. This year we decided instead to have a different type of panel, so there are uh, uh, very successful women in macro that have been also part of the policy uh, circle and so we decided to invite some of those uh, uh, to talk about uh, uh, their policy experience and the new challenges that the, the, the global economy poses to uh, policy both in monetary policy and in fiscal policies. Yeah, our guests are coming from Europe and uh, not just to be here and support uh, you know this initiative. So we're particularly excited about that. I think that is very important uh, for more senior women who have been successful in navigating the profession to provide advice and help and support and uh, uh, mentor these young women uh, uh, to give them the occasion to reach their potential. But uh, there is still a big gap between uh, what is the share of women who made it to be assistant professor or even associate professor and that there is a big drop in full professors. So the question is, it really seems that it's something about the profession that is wrong because why is that women decide to start a career in economics and then and in macroeconomics and then they decide to drop out. Uh, this is where I think uh, uh, our conference uh, may be helpful in offering a network and offering uh, some help, some support uh, and, uh, and try also to understand what are the problems that women face maybe to be able to offer some solutions. So in some sense putting together a conference with very high level successful women shows that look, there are women in macro, there are a lot of them, and we already see that there is being some difference. I mean, if you see the recent policy makers, you know, there are more women taking into these roles, so, so there is some movement in that direction, and some of our panelists are part of this new cohort of women in these very important roles. Because the question is also, why do we need more women? At the end, you know, we have, we have economists, so why do we need the women economists? I mean, the answer there must be something that is um, about diversity, right? Maybe women are bringing something slightly different that uh, right now is missing, bringing up uh, different questions or different approaches to the same questions. Always, you know, with the same kind of methodology and, um, and framework, but they may bring something that is uh, slightly different from men and in this way enriching the conversation for everybody. We want talented women to be successful and we want talented women to be in economics if that is where their passion is. If we want to bring more talent to the profession, then we should start to bring more women in the profession. <laughs>